Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can DIY your own neck bow. I recently made a style guide video for Blair Waldorf and in the video, I was wearing this fun, glitzy houndstooth neck bow. I just thought it was so Blair Waldorf, totally her aesthetic. And I had quite a few people on that video and also over on my Instagram asking where I got the neck bow from. The truth is, the hard hitting truth is that I actually got this in Singapore a few years ago. I got it in this really random little boutique. So unfortunately, it's not something that you can just purchase online. I have had a little bit of a peruse on Etsy and things like that. I found similar items, but nothing that's really like this neck bow. So I thought I could DIY my own one. And of course for my DIY version, it's gonna be pink. For my materials, I have this thick grow grain ribbon. This is one and a half inches thick. And I am going to double over the ribbon on the bow because this one is double ribbon thickness. And I think it just gives it a nice sturdiness when it is sitting on the neck. For the thinner black ribbon, I've actually got white thin grow grain ribbon. This is 0.4 of an inch. And that is going to look so cute against the pink. I've also picked up these brooch backings. Now, now for the big jewel in the centerpiece, this is where I came a bit unstuck trying to find something similar to this. I'm just working with the supplies that are at my local craft store and unfortunately they didn't have anything quite this exquisite. I'm sure if I had more time to venture out and search around, I could find a nice big beautiful pre-made jewel like this, but they just didn't have anything like that. So I am going to fashion my own. I found these glass pearls at the craft store and also these little Swarovski crystal-y jewel things. But the problem is I need some sort of metal thing to attach the pearls to, to then attach to the ribbon. And that's where I was coming really unstuck, but I ended up finding these little, I don't know what you would call them. They're just little metal things. I think you're supposed to make a necklace out of them. And they say, love, believe, dream on them. Isn't that beautiful? But the plan is actually to put the pearls on the back here. So I'll put four pearls across. And then once I've created my own little pearl jewel situation, then I can glue that onto the ribbon. Unfortunately, you won't actually see the words love, believe, or dream in the finished product because that'll be actually upside down glued to the bow, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? But that's okay. In my heart, I'm gonna know that it's part of my creation. I'm not sure if I wanna do love, believe, or dream yet. I'm feeling believe. I think I want to do believe. So that'll be a really nice personal touch that nobody will know about except for you because I just told you. Other supplies needed, a hot glue gun. This is actually a low heat glue gun. You can get low heat or high heat and low heat is just better when you're working with grey grain ribbon because you don't want to burn it. A lighter. The lighter is just to singe the ends of the ribbon so they don't fray. And then some fabric scissors, some sharp fabric scissors to cut your ribbon. All right, let's get into it. I'm super excited. I love DIYs, but they also make me super stressed. So here we go. For the main ribbon of the bow, you're going to need two strips of ribbon, 24 inches long. And the ribbon I'm using is one and a half inches wide. The ends of the ribbon are going to be cut diagonally, but I did find it way easier to actually fashion the bow together and then cut the ends of the ribbon. So you're just gonna lay the two pieces on top of each other because it is going to make it sturdier to use the double layer of ribbon. You might want to get some pins or something to sort of pin it together. And now you just fashion it into a bow shape. It's a ton easier than actually making a real bow because you don't need to tie anything. You just need the illusion of it looking like a bow. Next, I'm working with the smaller grow grain ribbon. And this isn't two pieces like that big one. It's just one. So for this, I have had 32 inches of that thinner ribbon and that thin ribbon is 0.4 inches wide. Again, I'm fastening it into a bow. This one actually has two loops on the bow, not just one. What you can do as you go along is put a tiny tack of hot glue in between each layer to tack them together. You don't wanna be using too much glue at this stage. It's just to tack those layers together because you don't wanna get too bulky and for the glue to be seeping out. This is literally just to keep things in place. I'm also doing this hot gluing on a little bit of cardboard that I cut off a cardboard box, just in case any glue drops onto the carpet or if you're working on a table, whatever. Now you can pop the thinner bow on top of the thicker bow. I 
I went ahead and cut another piece of the thinner grow grain ribbon. This doesn't have to be long at all, only about two inches. And this is what is going to secure those two bows together. Pop a little bit of glue on the back of the ribbon, take one end, loop it around both your bows and pull it a little bit tight so you get that nice bow shape. And then you can secure the other end with hot glue. You can go ahead and cut the ends of the ribbon into those diagonals. Make sure the point of the diagonal is facing downwards. Then you can get your trusty lighter and singe the ends of the ribbon. I just click it on and go a couple of times lightly over the edge of the ribbon. You don't wanna burn it. You just wanna singe those ends so the ribbon doesn't start to fray. Once you feel like everything's set, the next step is to put the little brooch pin on the back. This is pretty simple. You just tack it down with hot glue. While the main bow is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and create my little glitzy centerpiece. So I've taken one of the little metal rectangles and lined up four pearls across, just taking some hot glue and tacking them down where they look cute. Then I've taken those little Swarovski crystals and tacked them in between the pearls, just to add a little bit of glitz. Now this little jeweled centerpiece is definitely not as big or as glitzy as the original bow, but I actually think it sort of matches the pink girly vibe of my DIY bow that I'm creating. Once everything is dry, the final step is to hot glue your little jeweled centerpiece onto the front of your bow and ta-da, there is the bow done. Here is the finished product. Here is my DIY neck bow. It turned out so well. Like I really don't want to be tooting my own horn, but I went in on this DIY. I pinned it on this little crochet sweater thing that I got from Zara a few years ago. You could also pin it on the neck of a button down shirt. Or I was even thinking instead of putting a brooch pin on the back, you could totally glue a hair pin and turn it into a hair bow too. That would be so cute. I feel like this is such a fun DIY because there's so many possibilities, so many color combinations you could do. And especially with the centerpiece jewel, you could go out and find a really special one or like me, you could create your own one. There's just so many possibilities. So if you do end up making this DIY, please do let me know in the comments. And if you're up for it, snap a picture on Instagram and tag me because I would love to see what you come up with. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. I make fashion and lifestyle videos every week and I would love to have you here with me. Ooh, my hair is doing something weird. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.